Okay, today I'm going to show you how to zoom into a signal using a Tektronix 465 oscilloscope. As you probably know, with a digital scope, you can easily zoom in and, and look at signals in detail. Uh, with an analog scope, it's a little bit more difficult, but it is possible. So I'm just going to show you an example of how that works and uh, hope you uh, like this. So I'm going to start this by applying a NTSC composite signal to the channel 1 input. And you can see it's a bit of a mess here. So I'm going to use the regular A and B time delay knob and I'll just turn it, zoom in a bit, and there we go, I have my nice signal. Now the A trigger is being activated on this side and you can see if I adjust my A trigger here, uh, I'll lose the signal if it's not set correctly. So you can watch it here and you can also see on this side the slope line there going higher and higher and higher as I adjust the A trigger level. So that's the point, the voltage point at which the scope will start sampling a signal. I have it set to the minus slope so that it activates on the going down portion of the signal. Let's say I wanted to just look at the color burst signal here. What I can do is I can switch it to A intensify mode and I can use the delay time position knob in order to intensify a portion of the signal. And see, you can see I, I have a little sliding window there that I can move back and forth. So I'm going to move that to right over the color burst. And you'll notice that it is actually highlighting this bottom part of the signal, this upper part, plus the color burst. I actually want to zoom in a bit. So what I do is I pull out the time per division knob and I twist it into a lower or more fine-grained time division. So I'm going to switch that to uh, one microsecond and I'm going to leave the regular A time per division at five microseconds. So now you can see the window is, is actually quite small. A quick tip is that you can turn the intensity down in order to see the highlighted window easier. So I'm going to highlight the color burst signal there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the B delayed button. What this is going to do is this is going to show me only this cursor that has been highlighted and it is also going to put me into the display mode where the B time per division is set. So the B time per division is set at one microseconds. This is set at uh, five microseconds for the A time per division. So what that means is it's going to actually zoom in. So let's take a look. And there you go. You can see it zoomed in, and that is quite a clear view of the color burst signal. And uh, looks perfectly normal to me, so I guess this is a, a healthy device. Another option that we can do is we can switch it into mixed mode. Mixed mode displays both signals on the screen at the same time, and it allows you to view the signal in sort of a, uh, a sliding window over time versus the source signal. So I'm going to crank the delay time back to the start there and I'm going to set it to mix mode and you can see here what it's actually displaying is everything after the B trigger zoomed in at the B level. Everything before the B trigger is zoomed in at the A level, whatever the A is set to. So as I move the delay time you can see it start scrolling. Well, this is it. This is the signal in the, under the A time base. This is a signal under the B time base, and it will scroll up and it will start to, you know, compress as we move over and delay further along in the A signal. So this allows you to take a look at a signal, scroll through it in detail, and uh, you know, compare the zoomed-in view with the high-level view on one screen. Now, all you guys with digital scopes, uh, you lucky guys with digital scopes, this doesn't seem too exciting, I'm sure. But, uh, you know, being able to do this on an analog scope is, is a nice feature, you know, to know how to work with. Another thing we could do is to use the regular triggering instead of the delay trigger to zoom into a signal. So, if you look at the, you know, the signal that we have here, um, it is not repeating, so it's a big jumble mess. And there's this signal at the top here, which is 
you know, potentially interesting. So what I want to do is I actually want to look at this top signal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my B trigger and I'm going to set it to normal instead of starts after delay. And then I'm going to use the A intensify mode again. And what this is going to show me, instead of showing me the delay time like it would have if it was on start after delay, it will show me the triggering point uh, for the regular trigger mode. So just using the uh, uh, plus and minus voltage for the slope, you know, the mode and the voltage level. So I will set that to plus and we will try that. And you notice there, I've highlighted it. Oh, I'm going to crank the intensity down here a bit. So here you can see I'm highlighting the signal based on the trigger. I'm going to highlight that portion right there. And then I am going to click be delayed, zoom in, and there is my zoomed in isolated signal. I hope this video helped you get a little bit more out of your classic oscilloscope. And if you like these videos and you'd like to see more, please subscribe below and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.